Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation. At first glance, this equation looks like a mistake. But what if it's not? In this mind-bending math puzzle, you're asked to solve for y. In the equation, ln x plus y equals ln x minus ln y. A setup that challenges what you thought you knew about logarithms. So let's go ahead and dive in. If you're ready, let's go. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at an equation where we have lns on both sides. But the thing is, we don't have an identity for this. Why? Because we don't have the ln of a sum. We have the ln of a product. We have the ln of a quotient, so multiplication and division, but not sum. But what about this equation? Is this false then? No. Because we're going to be solving for y. But you're like, Why? Okay, here's why we're going to solve for y. First of all, notice that I have a single ln on the left-hand side and two lns on the right-hand side. So if you think about the properties of logarithms, two things come to mind. One of them is if you are natural logging a product, then it turns into a sum like this, ln ab is equal to ln a plus ln b. Of course, if you're considering real solutions or real numbers, then a and b both have to be positive. In the complex world, things are different. And if you are curious about the complex world, go ahead and check out my other channel, which is a plus bi, where I focus on complex numbers. So this is the quotient. I mean, this is the product. What about the quotient? ln of a over b can be written as ln a minus ln b. So basically, the product turns into a sum quotient turns into a minus, which kind of makes sense, right? Because they are inverse operations. Great. And this is exactly what we need, the second one, right? Because what we have on the right-hand side fits this one. Great. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take ln x minus ln y and turn it into this. Well, so we're kind of working backwards, but you got to remember, it's an equation. It's an identity. It's a, there's an equal sign. So it's two-sided, even though we always write from left to right, but, well, most people, I guess, I don't know, depending on how you write it. But in math, I think we always write from left to right, don't we? So we're going to reverse the property or just work backwards. So this should equal ln x over y, right? But that's what we have on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we have something else, ln x plus y, which is supposed to equal this, which is supposed to equal that. So now we have single lns on both sides, which is great. That's what we're looking for. So ln x plus y equals ln x over y. What does that mean? If ln a equals ln b, does that automatically imply equals b? That's a good question, right? And that kind of comes to one-to-oneness or injectivity of this function. The ln function is always increasing, which means if you take two numbers whose lns are equal, then those numbers have to be equal. In other words, we can find two numbers that are different, but then they have the same ln. That's impossible. Think about it, and you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. So in this case, then, we're kind of looking at lns on both sides, but we can easily do the following. We can do e to the power of both sides, which turns these lns into normal things. So ln is removed, poof, gone, we get x plus y, equals x over y. And at this point, you might be asking like, wait a minute, well, what is that supposed to mean, right? But you remember, what are you solving for, right? You should always keep that in perspective. We're solving for y. So how do you do that? Well, depending on the type of equation you have, is this linear? Let's find out because we got to cross multiply first. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by y. That gives us xy plus y squared equals x. Of course, in this case, you don't want x to be 0, but if you really think about it, you never want x to be 0. Remember, we said that ln is only defined for positive numbers. In the complex world, things are different, but what about 0, right? We never talked about it. But if you look at the graph of y equals ln x in the real world, then you realize that, okay, there's an asymptote, right? The y-axis, which is x equals 0. So, yes, x can approach 0 from the right, but it can never equal 0 because then you're going to be approaching negative infinity. So here's our equation. And remember, again, one more time, we're solving for y. 
So let's go ahead and write this as follows. We have y squared plus xy equals x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring this x to the left and subtract it and get a full equation. Now, what does this equation look like to you? If you don't get it, I'm going to go ahead and do this because I think this will make more sense. First of all, let me write y squared in a different color. And this one, oops, I hope I can just erase the y. That's what I want. Notice that this is quadratic, quadratic in y. And you're like, why? Because it is quadratic. As you can see, a y squared plus b y plus c is quadratic in y. In this case, a is 1, b is x, which is kind of weird, but we're going to take x as a constant, sort of. And c is negative x. So those are going to be our coefficients. And what is nice about it is there's a quadratic formula. There's a cubic formula, there's a quartic formula, but unfortunately, there's no quintic formula. Even though some people say, oh, they can be solved by certain, you know, bring radicals, this and... Wait a minute. You can't solve a quintic equation in the general sense. Yes, special quintics can be solved. Special desics can be solved. Even there's a group of desics, which I'm thinking about maybe in a future video, we'll talk, we'll talk about that. But in general, there is no quintic equation. Please accept the fact, okay? I know it's kind of hard, but anyways. So let's go ahead and solve this using the quadratic formula, which exists, by the way. So y is going to be equal to negative b, since you know what b is. That should be easy to do. Plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4. A, a is 1 in this case. C is negative x. Awesome. And then we can kind of divide this whole thing by 2a, which is 2, because a is equal to 1, right? Once you know the coefficients a, b, c, the rest is kind of easy. Great, so that's the answer. Well, pretty much, but let's simplify this a little bit. y equals negative x plus minus. And by the way, we're going to be checking some results from Wolfram Alpha, because Wolfram Alpha sometimes doesn't get it, and we get it, and that shows we're smarter, right? So far, at least for now. <laughs> okay, great. So... Those are the solutions, and you can definitely split it up. And what is that supposed to mean? It just means that y can be expressed in terms of x, for which this equation is true, which is ln x plus y equals ln x minus ln y. So for this particular y value, not in general, this is not an identity. That's why this is kind of tricky, right? This equation is true. And if you don't believe that, you're more than welcome to plug in one of these values and check please do and let us know what you find. Let's go ahead and check the results from Wolfram Alpha real quick and see if Wolfram Alpha can solve a problem like this. What do you think though? Do you think Wolfram Alpha is smarter than us or at least solve, can solve this problem? What are your thoughts? Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, great. Now Wolfram Alpha -da 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 -da, is going to give us the following solutions. Well, it's kind of weird because it says if x is positive, then this is the only solution. It does not accept the other solution. What do you think that happens? Let us know in the comment section down below and even find some integer solutions. But guess what? X is negative here. That's why. All right. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to check out A plus B I. And bye-bye.